Hi everyone, um, I'd like to thank you all for coming to Irish Fair. Are you having a good time? Good. My name is Maria Flynn Conway and I'm chair of the board of the Irish Fair. And I just want to give you a little background on the fair. It is a 501c3 nonprofit. We do not make any money from the event. All these wonderful volunteers that you see in the blue shirts, they're what helps us keep free and also the beers that you buy and the food that you eat while you're here. However, that said, our budget for this event, for those of you um, who are out there this year, is $600,000. That's between all the bands that we pay, all the tents, and everything that it takes to put this together. So this year, one of the things to help us meet our goals of keeping the fair free, because we are committed, everybody that's involved does this because they're passionate about what they do. We have started something called Friends of the Fair. You can go online to our web website at irishfair.com and you can become a friend of Irish Fair. Also in the pavilion we have people over there that can talk to you about it. We also have donation boxes if you can't become a friend. What we're asking is even if everybody that came put one single dollar in the box, it would help us reach our goal of keeping this a free event. And that's really what we want to do. So I thank you all. And just have one other little thing. And um, I've been a very bad girl, so you can blame the rain shower today on me because I told a couple of lies this week. <laughs> Um, I feel bad because he's a very nice guy. We have an award that we give away every year and it basically it's for someone who has made a significant contribution to the Irish community and has helped to preserve and cultivate the culture for future generations. And this year's award goes to a gentleman by the name of Mr. Jim Rogers. It's the Curtin Conway Award. <laughs> Look, see, he's stunned. I told him he was coming up here to do something else and he was busy practicing what he was going to say. All for nothing. <laughs> Jim, Jim is the author, he's an author, he's the editor and a poet and he's also the managing director of the, the Center for Irish Studies at the University of St. Thomas. He's from St. Paul. He's published many Irish literature articles and also stuff on Irish history. He's also the editor of the New Hibernian Review. I would like to present the Curtin Conway. The Curtin Conways are Leah Curtin and Roger Conway, who are actually the founders of the original Irish, Irish Fair of Minnesota. So we have this award in their name. Jim? <laughs> Congratulations. Hang on. And with, with that award also goes um, a check for $1,000 that you can give to the uh, charity of your choice. I wonder if any come to mind. <laughs> he says he wonders if any comes to mind. I think after my speech he might be giving it back, do you think? <laughs> so I let Jim say a few words. <laughs> oh, I've been ambushed here. That, I, I really was, she did really pull the bait and switch on me. I thought I was coming up here to do something else. It's, it's a tremendously meaningful award to me. Uh, you look out at the, the people here and what this fair that was cre not created out of nothing, created out of passion and created out of concern and created out of a, a love for all things Irish. It's especially meaningful to me because I knew Leah Curtin and I knew the Conway family so well. It's especially meaningful to me. I am I'm flummoxed and uncharacteristically without many words, but this is a tremendous event and I, I'm honored to be here and I, I, I really, um, all, all false modesty, no false modesty, I don't deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. God bless. Of course you do. Thank you. All right.